Hello everyone, my name is Sheila Marie Fernando Morales from BSEG Mathematics 2A and I am the reporter of Mac Nemer Test. Our lesson objective at the end of this video, the learner should be able to define Mac Nemer Test, know about the assumption of Mac Nemer Test, understand how 2x2 two two contingency table works in Mac Nemer Test, Define those hypotheses under Mach-Nemer test, and lastly, how to calculate Mach-Nemer test. So, what is Mach-Nemer test? Mach-Nemer test is a statistical test used in paired nominal data. It is applied to two by two contingency table with dichotomous trait, with much pair subject to determine whether the row and column marginal frequency are equal. Often, it is used to determine whether there is significant change in nominal data before and after an event. Assumption for Mach-Nemer test First, you must have one nominal variable with two categories. For example, dichotomous variable, such as yes or no question, and gender, female and male, and one independent variable with two connected groups. Second, the two groups in your dependent variable must be mutually exclusive. In other words, participants cannot appear in more than one group. Third, your sample must be random sample. To avoid bias and other unwanted effects, the participants are chosen randomly. If your data does not meet those three assumptions, considering running another test for your data like regular G-squared. So this is the format of 2 by 2 contingency table. It has two conditions with yes or no in columns and rows. One yes for column and one yes for row. And same in no. In the first row, we have cells A and B. Second row, we have cells C and D. First column, we have cells A and C. Second column, we have cells B and D. And every ends or edges of the columns and row are the totals. And N is the sample or number of samples. So this is the parts of 2 by 2 contingency table. We have joint frequency. Describe the four cells inside the table. We have A is equal to 21, B is equal to 39, C is equal to 135, and D is equal to 45. And we have here the marginal frequency. It describes the totals of rows and columns. We have 21 plus 39 is equal to 60, 135 plus 45 is equal to 180, 21 plus 135 is equal to 156. 39 plus 45 is equal to 84. So the grand total or the general total of rows and columns is 240. It is described Rn or the number of sample. Formula of Mach-Nemer test. So this is the formula of Mach-Nemer test where x squared means chi squared test b is means is the first cell of the second column while c means the first cell of the second row calculating mach nemer test we have here the example a researcher attempts to determine if a drug has an effect on a particular disease so we have here the after present column we have 101 for A, 59 for C. While the second column, we have 121 for B, and we have 33 for D. For the before present row, we have 101 for A, 121 for B. While in the before absent row, we have 59 for C. C and 33 for D. So 101 
plus 121 is equal to 222. 59 plus 33 is equal to 92. 101 plus 59 is equal to 160. 121 plus 33 is equal to 154. So our N or the grand total is 314. In this example, the null hypothesis of marginal homogeneity would mean there was no effect of the treatment. The null hypothesis of marginal homogeneity states that the two marginal probabilities for each outcome are the same. For example, probability of A plus probability of B is equal to probability of A plus probability of C. And probability of C plus probability of D is equal to probability of B plus probability of D. Thus, the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis are HO or null hypothesis state probability of B is equal to probability of C, while H1 or, or alternative hypothesis state probability of B is not equal to probability of C. So again, this is the table of the example given before we solve the the McNamara test and this is the formula that we use chi squared is equal to b minus c squared over b plus c chi squared is equal to 121 minus 59 squared over 121 plus 59. Since we have the numbers inside the uh, numbers inside the parentheses, we must first solve it. So chi squared is equal to, so 121 minus 59 is 62 squared over 121 plus 59 is equal to 180. Next is chi squared, so the square, square, of 62 is 3,844 cup the denominator 180 so x squared so here is the final answer so 3,844 over 180 is equal to 221.300 55 or 355 or 21.36